Today we're going to look at writing files in Python. So we're going to build the standard CSV file, which stands for comma separated values. And to build, what we're going to build today is a weather capturing CSV file. So right now I have some California codes. These are the National Weather Service codes. Uh, we'll get into that later what the specifics of these are but these are just each locations that's Burbank this is Long Beach so this is just a starting point for later when we read from live data but right now we're just gonna generate uh, random mock data uh, so the first thing we want to do is build this write to CSV method uh, here I have a, a doc string explaining what this methods gonna capture so it's going to take in a list and then it's going to write the list to that file. So that's the structure of this method. Uh, let's first write how we're going to use the method. So the first thing we want to do is open up a wow, open up a new file. We're going to call it sample weather data CSV. And then we're going to say that we're going to write to this file, which is a W. So first we name the file, then we say what we're going to do. There's a few different options you can do here. W is write. There's also R for read, A for append. And then here we're going to say, we're going to tell it how to handle when a new line starts. We're just going to put an empty string for now, which helps it run properly. So there's a lot going on in this line here. So we have the with statement, which says run this code everything that's indented here so the code block everything that's indented run this code and then release the file so everything that gets open right here gets released once this code block is done so it opens the file and closes the file for you this open here this will open this file if it and because we're writing to it it's going to write over the file if it already exists I'll show that or it's going to create it if it doesn't already exist. And then the new line just tells it how to handle new lines. The as CSV is the file object. So that's how we tell our program, how we tell Python what file we're going to modify. Uh, so now let's use some of the standard CSV library. So we're going to use this import CSV up here to write to the file. We're going to use the writer method, and then we're going to say grab that CSV file we just opened, that we just made in the previous line. Grab that file. That's what we're going to write to. So now we have this writer object that's going to handle that for us. Now we can use the writer object to write rows or one row or multiple rows. So here we're just going to define the header row of a CSV file. CSV files are pretty standardized. The first row is the header, so that tells you what the column data is. And then every row after that subsequently is the data. So that's what we're defining right now is just the header row, the, the data row. Excuse me, not the data row, the column header row. And then we're going to say take all that data and there, you can write one at a time with write row, or we're going to do write rows to write multiple at a, at a time. And it's just that data list that gets sent in as a parameter here. And that's all we need to write to a CSV file. Pretty simple, standard, straightforward. Uh, you'll probably find this exact code somewhere else on the internet. It's pretty standard. Uh, so that's all that's needed to write to a CSV file. And now let's send data. to our file. So first we're going to start with an empty list here. So this is what we're going to send into the CSV, the write to CSV method. Uh, and then we're just going to generate some random data for now. So for, and we're going to use underscore because we're not actually, we don't need to know. We're just going to create 10 random lines of data. And the underscore says, I don't care what the index value is. It could be 0, 10, 5, 1. We're not looking at that. We just want to create 10 random pieces of data. Uh, we'll create the station. Uh, we'll create this timestamp. 
just putting placeholders right now and then we'll create the temperature and you'll see that all of this matches what our header row is so we sent in a list you can see here that it's a it's a list denoted by the square brackets and it's comma separated and then we just put in some strings so those are the strings these strings are the header rows so that's what you would physically see in the csv file and then this is going to be the data so we're going to create 10 rows of data first it's going to be station timestamp temperature and all we need to do is create a list of lists here of all the data that's going to go in uh, so to create the station we're just going to do we're just going to select something random from here so random choice and then uh, one of the california codes and then for the timestamp there's a nice way to grab the timestamp with the date time import so we're just going to do the current time uh, and then we got this formatting that we're going to do we'll do year uh, this needs to be a string year month day space hour minutes and second so that's how that works and then the temperature is just going to be a random number a uh, rand int between 0 and 40 this is celsius that's why it's 0 and 40 the national weather service gives us data in celsius okay and then now we create we call this our data entry this is going to be these three variables matching our header row but now it's actual data, station, timestamp, and temperature. Notice that it's in the same order. That matters. Otherwise, uh, it's not going to make sense in the CSV file. And now we just add this to our data list. So we're just going to append this list to another list. So it's a list of lists. Uh, later we'll get into a better way to do that, which would be with a dictionary. But for now, we're just going to start with a simple, simple list. And this is all we need for our main function. We're sending in some fake data and writing it to a CSV file. So let's run this. See, a file appears. So this creates a file just in the current directory of your project. You can always set the directory. Uh, you generally want to set it to something intelligent, not just any location. But uh, if you don't set a location, it's just going to put it in the same file. And here we get a, a CSV file. You can see the header row is very standardized, comma separated values, CSV, station, timestamp, temperature, which is what we defined right here. We wrote that first row. And then the subsequent rows are the data. And if we run this file multiple times, you'll just see the data changes. It's just putting new data in every time because it's overwriting the file. The file doesn't exist. It'll write the file. So that's all that's needed to create a little CSV file. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.